What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Johns and I am back with another video. Today, we're talking to Air Jordan 7 Trophy Room. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive into today's video. We're talking to Air Jordan 7, trophy room. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? So let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release November 9th, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $225, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid, glance at the resale price, and look like they're averaging $300 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay, now, I already know, right? These have already released on Trophy Room's website, and I know they did a raffle system where if you are near Trophy Room, which I believe is down in Florida, right, okay? If you're near that area, if you entered the raffle, you most likely hit and you were able to go pick the shoe up the next day, right, okay? And you had a certain window to pick that shoe up. So a lot of people already kind of had these in hand. So these actually dropped on a Friday. So I believe you could be able to go pick it up then. And then Saturday, they did the online first come first come first come first serve online and yeah i mean you blink your eye and you would have missed it that's how fast it sold out online right okay but neither here nor there this is kind of one of those i feel like it's a controversial shoe based off of what happened with the last trophy room ones right okay let's just keep it 100 that was not the best release and a lot of us crew sneakerheads were kind of not over that right okay now the sevens in general is one of those love hate shoes it's either people just don't rock with it at all or you absolutely positively love it right okay now this one right here very unique shoe right okay it's kind of one of those just like i said with seven same different scenario i think the fact that we have this trophy room name attached to it it's definitely one of those like it's definitely a game changer to make you like think about it now i know these are coming with three sets of laces which i think is going to be blue in the shoe and i think there's coming with white set of laces and also a red set of laces so you got some versatility when it comes to this shoe now overall i will say this i have and y'all been if y'all are keeping up on the discord i have been on the fence about this shoe back and forth i've said this i've said that you know honestly it's one of those shoes i think is you gotta kinda just have to see it in hand. Now the details on this is coming in a nice special box and the box has very nice details, which we don't wear the box at the end of the day, but it's just something we have to mention about this shoe. Now, only thing is, I think the official street name is, is called the New Sheriff in Town. Well, you know, there's been jokes floating around with that as well. But overall, man, I will say I'm borderline still on the fence. This is kinda like your, we can say this is your third chance because we always also had it where you can pick up in store at the trophy room store like i said that then you had the first come first serve online so this is a third chance for the people who really really want them i do anticipate that the resale on these will go down they may go back up over the holidays however for now if they're already in that 300 dollars price range once we get the official sneakers that drop i have a feeling these are going to be sitting slightly above retail which is basically what they're doing right now so they may actually sit right at retail i don't think they're gonna go below retail right okay which doesn't make or break the shoe for the kid but overall for me right now ah, tough call but i'm gonna say this right for now they're going to be a skip for the kid but my mind could change at the blink of an eye right now but for right now they will be a skip but i want to know what you guys think down in the comment section and will you be going after these on november 9th retailing at 225 dollars and of course let me know if you think they're drip or skip all right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.